Hello and welcome everyone to anubotrainings.com. In this tutorial of SAP Analytics Cloud, we will talk about planning models. So SAP Analytics Cloud offers two types of models, analytical model as well as planning models. Planning models are specialized models used for planning. The mandatory thing which you must include in a planning model is the time. Time or date dimensions are unlike analytical model are important dimensions and mandatory dimensions in a planning model. Together with that, planning model will also offer you capability to do currency conversion. Also, you would have an organization dimension which you can keep and associate the relevant currencies or currency conversion in a planning model. Unlike analytical model where an account dimension is a collection of all the measures, the planning model would contain the account dimension as an account in terms of a business sense. So let me switch it over to SAP Analytics Cloud System to showcase you a planning model. And as you can see, the planning model has different dimensions. The very first dimension here you can see is called version. So planning model has this new capability called version. With the help of that, you can maintain multiple versions of data. Usually whenever you're doing a what-if analysis or simulation, distribution, spreading, allocation or a custom action when it comes to planning model, you can perform these calculations which can change the data on a specific private version. Once all the calculations are being carried out on the planning data on your financials, you would want to make that version available for other users. You would be able to do that. Hence, the version is also a very important dimension for any planning model. At the moment in this version, I have two versions which is available. Every version would have also a category. In this, you can see we have actual and forecast data as a category for the version. We can create private versions as many as we want as a user and later on can publish this version to be visible for other users. The second dimension which you see is account dimension. And when you switch over to this account dimension, you would see I have all these accounts as my business entities listed down with a hierarchy. And you would also get a hierarchy maintenance when it comes to planning model. So you can always go and look at different accounts. As you can see in business terms, in an entire financials of a company and operating income is calculated by subtracting gross profit minus operating expenses this is how you calculate the operating income and that is why the hierarchy has been adjusted accordingly. Now moving on, if you would also observe that an account dimension would also include important information about how that account is going to behave in a financial dimension. For example, some of the accounts are going to contribute in a positive way and some of the accounts in a financial statement are going to contribute in a negative way. So that is called account type. As you can see in this planning model, we have a stored price. It is calculated as an expense, which means in my financials statement, this dimension is going to contribute in a negative way. However, when I come down, you can see sales expense, marketing expense, operating expense, these are all expense accounts. When you come down, you would see some income accounts, which includes your gross margin, operating profit, all the gross margin percentage, all these are called income account. You can see sales previous year, gross sales revenue, they are all different, different, belongs to income account. Now we have the rate type. In the rate type, you can see the rate type is called average rates. So we are going to calculate most of these things as a currency conversion based on average currency exchange rates. Now moving on, we also have exception aggregation, which is a very powerful feature we use when it comes to planning model. You can also scale your data and also specify the units for each type of dimension in the account. We can go back. Then as I mentioned, a planning model has to have a mandatory time dimension. And then you have also different generic dimension with their hierarchies. So you can always go jump in and look at the hierarchies for each of the planning model. In this case, we have created a level based hierarchy at this dimension level after importing the data. We can also go back 
and finally see this organization dimension which is an entity over here which is what represents your business entity in the real business world in case of planning you can see we also have a level based hierarchy for this and then of course you would have different currencies maintained at different business entity level additionally we can go ahead and look at the planning model preferences by clicking on the model preference option and here is where we can find all the settings about the model so you can see the model type is the planning model you can always switch it over from planning to analytical now what's so special about planning model is you can always go ahead and specify the date range or the time range for which you would like to do the plan for example i would like to use automatic forecasting in sap analytics cloud to calculate what is going to be my forecasted revenue or profit in coming months i can always extend my planning model time horizon using the model preferences also when it comes to currency conversion we can always maintain currency conversion rate table linkage over here at the planning preference level so a lot of these features we will cover in detail as part of our sap analytics cloud course you will learn how to perform currency conversions on your data how to get the currency conversion rates updated in sap analytics cloud to get these reports and dashboards built on a planning model so i hope you enjoyed this video session on how to work with sap analytics cloud planning model what is the planning model is and how it is different from analytical model in sap analytics cloud for detailed training of how to create planning model work with them use them in dashboards and stories feel free to subscribe our course on anubhavtrainings.com Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.